I get here about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Everybody's gone. This cold metal bench outside a strip mall in Canby is where Glenn Stevens oh. has been sleeping for the past month and a half. It was convenient. It's dry. Uh, it's a safe environment right here. This 69-year-old has fallen on hard times. It's been truly an experience. And now finds himself living on the streets. I lost everything in my life. I lost all of it. You're looking at what's left. Despite Glenn being down on his luck, he still makes helping others throughout Canby a top priority. For instance, he volunteers at the local food bank. I look for things to do to make the day go by. Super nice guy, yeah, incredibly nice guy. Just a genuine heart. Heather Dorn owns a business in Canby. It happens to be near the bench where Glenn rests his aging body at night. The two met earlier this month. So I walked over to him and asked him if he was waiting for somebody and he said he wasn't. And I said, can I help you with something? And he said, well, I'm, I'm homeless. Am I bothering you by sitting here? Glenn was, in fact, bothering Heather, but not in the way you may think. The thought of somebody like Glenn sleeping outside in the cold troubled Heather. So she turned to her Facebook community for help. And boy, did they step up. They raised more than $2,000 to buy Glenn a temporary home. Oh, my heart is compelled to it. I don't know. I just think it's just a human treating a human with kindness is my only description of it. And I feel like anybody would do that. On Friday evening, we were there as Glenn was surprised with this trailer. Hey, Glenn. Come here. Gifted to him by a bunch of people who up until recently were strangers. So that you can call this your home. And I'm excited to show you. <laughs> Glenn now has a warm, safe place to sleep at night. Nights are over, buddy. And ultimately, an opportunity to get back on his feet. I love you. That's the best I can do on short notice. <laughs> All right, as grateful as Glenn was to meet Heather and all these people in Cami, the feeling is really mutual. All of these people are really inspired by Glenn and the way he is tackling uh, this hand he's been dealt. What a wonderful story as I we know. approach Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. There is a call to action here. There is, Laurel. Uh, right now, uh, the plan is uh, for Glenn to set up shop in this parking lot of that strip mall where he was sleeping on a bench. So that's where the trail trailer excuse me, will be. But they're hoping somebody in the Canby area has some extra land and they'll allow Glenn to just set up shop there uh, for the immediate future. Hopefully somebody else steps up like she did. Thank you, Mike. Thanks, Mike. So